Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really awesome technique to creating abstract art like this in Blender. It's really easy, so let's get started. Here's a final variation of our scene, so let's open up a new file and start from there. So we have this default cube, so first thing I'm going to do is add in a bevel modifier, set the segments to uh, 2, and shade smooth. I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. Will just help keep things crispy. Okay, next we're gonna open up the materials tab. Uh, I'm gonna rename the default material to something like plastic. Then we're gonna head over into the shader editing space. First thing I'm gonna do is change to cycles and use my GPU. Before we start anything I'm gonna quickly change my environment to be solid black. This will give us some nice contrast. From here we're gonna start building our super simple plastic shader. So add in a mix shader node, uh, duplicate that. Now add in a translucent BSDF and mix it with a refraction BSDF. Next up, we're going to be controlling this mixing with a Fresnel. Now, so we can see the material further, I'm going to duplicate the main cube, scale it down, and then go into the materials tab, add a new one, and replacing the principal BSDF with an emission. Make sure to set the strength to 50. Cool, we can now see our effect kind of taking place. And we can continue on with the plastic shader. All that's left to do is just use a mix shader node to add in a glass BSDF. And set the factor to something small. That's our shader, and now comes the fun part, setting up the rest of the scene. For this render, I'm going to switch to orthographic mode. And I think I'm going to have a sort of isometric rotation with my cube here. So I'm going to play around with that. But it doesn't have to be exact. It's abstract art after all. Once you've gone to a stage where you're happy with it, duplicate the outside cube and move it around. I'm going to put mine up here. Give this new object a new material and replace the principal BSDF with a glass shader. I really like the effect that this gives, especially with the high contrast black background. So what next? Go crazy. You can change your color or add new shapes, but this is just to get you started, to create really cool looking abstract artwork. The final step is to render it out and do some color grading. Make your work really pop. For this render, I'm going to set my resolution to 1024 by 1024. I like to keep things square. After rendering it out, in the compositing tab, make sure you have use nodes checked and add in a denoise. After this, add in a color balance node and we're going to use this in combination with a brightness and contrast node as well as an exposure node to do our correcting. Now full disclaimer here, I don't use Blender for post-processing, I'm a Lightroom guy. So I'll link to some videos down below where you can get some proper knowledge on how to do this. Anyway, I kind of just fiddled around with things to see what I like. I'm gonna go do my final touches in Lightroom though. Here are some of the final artworks I got out of using this method. I think it's pretty cool, the range of different outcomes you can get. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed and got something out of it. Be sure to check out my Instagram, and don't forget to tag me if you make anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.